So are you guys ready for some real hip hop here tonight at Cool Lab Yeg? You know what's happening. This is the one and only Disorder. Dis Boom. And this is the third episode of the year, and it is my man Jay Red's album release party. Make some noise. He is a fucking legend in the Edmonton hip hop and festival community, and the man that put all this together. And we are celebrating his long awaited fucking album, and I am so doped. I've been hearing him rehearse it every day here, and it's fucking sick. You guys are gonna love this shit. Make some noise for our panelists as well. Here we got Thug Shells on a panel. Yeah. She is a local freestyle rapper, fucking Twitch streamer. She just hit 25K on Twitch actually recently. Just fucking killing Make it. Make some motherfucking yeah. noise. Woo! And uh, to her right, we got the one and only Poltergeist OD. He is a co creator here at Disorder Dabs, horrorcore legend. Boom! And then backing us up with the freestyles here. We got Nikki Dubs on the fucking tiles and the keyboards and the Nikki Dubs! I know, man. He does so many things. What do you fucking call him? He's just the human jukebox right, as like, far as I'm concerned. Straight up, man. Just a fucking music machine. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, oh yeah. Very, and very I, kind. And I, of course, very kind. have your host, MC Ironfoot. And this is the family here at Disser Daps, and we are pleased to pre present to you the uh, number one hip hop competition in Canada, soon to be worldwide. We're going fucking international, baby, here at Cold Abbey So make some noise, everybody, for Dis or Daps. Oh, oh! I got one thing before we get started. We got, we got a local friend here at Dis or Daps. Sammy B, I want to call you up to the stage. We, uh, we got something for, uh, for our homie Jay Reds over here. I made her do this. I'm so scared. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? Don't worry. That's what we all say when we hear our voice. It's okay. Okay. So I, I just want to say that I'm so proud of you and all the... I've been following you and your music since I met you. And I... Oh, I all of my favorite local artists are in this building right now, and it makes me so happy. Like, one, two, three. It's amazing. So I, um, I made this for you. I don't know if, can I? And I got all your friends to sign it. Maybe not all, I don't know. <laughs> we love you, Jay Ross. I did my best. <laughs> Everybody who's here in a part of the night. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't ready to get a gift, but like, holy shit, Sammy, thank you so much. This is, this is beautiful. Thank you for being a part of this community. I don't know what to say, girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's make one more fucking, uh, one more noisies here. I like hearing the noisies when somebody walks away from the stage. That was love right there. Yo, dis or dabs, how we feeling? Make some noisies. All right, that was a little bit of a slow start from what we're used to here, but we're introducing some new dynamics. We got a lot moving on the plate today, but the first thing I gotta say is I could swear to God I don't have fucking rabies. You guys can come a lot closer than that. I promise you. I promise you. I'm even if I wanted to bite, there's a table and a subwoofer between me. Just it's fucking cold up here. I don't know what the hell is going on, but you guys can get a lot closer. That's yeah, for come sure. closer, you guys. I may have a touch. I promised I did. If we want rabies, <laughs> come closer. Get it's it. just a bit. It's not... Not a lot. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. You motherfuckers are at dis or dabs. You know what dab means. We got the motherfucking bucket of destiny over there. A bunch of motherfuckers came and threw their name in that bucket, and we're going to pull them out at random. They're going to come up here. My man Nikki Dubs is going to create a whole beat from scratch on the fly live because we have one of the most talented human beings on the fucking planet here with us. 
That's a bit more of the energy I, that, that I'm looking for. It's motherfucking Nikki Dubs, guys. Come on, come on. And it's always love to my boy Poltergeist, or it's actually hate. Fuck Poltergeist. Boo! Boo! boo. Poltergeist. Oh, D. What the fuck? Who the fuck calls themselves something like that? Fucking idiot. Boo. I like Sex Robot a little bit more. Beep boop. Last, last time I was Sex Robot, I, I think I prefer that. Official name change. Motion it's granted. It's like, fuck like a robot. Boop, boop, boop. Where's Alex? Can we confirm? <laughs> we can. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Y'all know what the fuck to do. I don't know why you're just sitting there. No, wait, wait, hold up. You're, 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 oh, 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 we got to give, th we gotta give Thuggy what? some love, all right? What? You guys what? make some noise for my girl Thug Shells. Easily the quickest ascending rapper in this community. This girl's going all the way to the motherfucking moon. You know that. So once again, I know you just made noise, but keep making noise for my girl Thug Shells. I fucking guarantee easily the best freestyler in the building right here. Intimidatingly. <laughs> all right, all right. So, I know I usually give you guys a lot of shit about not knowing when to do the drum roll, but we actually have a drummer who kicks ass, so there's going to be cues tonight. Don't worry, I got your fucking back. So how we're going to do this? I'm going to point to my man, Nikki. I'll give him the signal. He's going to start making some beats. Then when he starts making the beat, you can start doing y'all drum roll while we get the person up to the stage. Make some fucking noise, because the person coming up to the stage is going to need a bit of that energy to get started. That's how this shit works. So, motherfucker, we're going to roll right on into it. So I'm going to give my man, Nikki, the signal. We got Poltergeist OD! Did I do that? <laughs> Who put his name in the bucket? Boo! I decided it. Hello? Hello? Can I get my mic turned up just like a little bit? I decided to put my, my, my name in the bucket this time to show you guys how the fuck this shit is done. Let's get a beat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, poltergeist. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a creep. Sleep on me. I don't need to spit. But I can't seem to quit. Like my rum and coke. You could probably catch me down a giant tiger bumming smokes when I'm running low. No fucking joke. I know I'm always up and down like I'm memorizing a couple codes. Yo, on one hand I'm a ghost, the other hand up your hose, and she my little puppet show. I'm becoming a foe, no love for the hoes, they just looking for something to blow. Touching the toes, let you cut up the blow. No G strings attached, it takes a real wolf to leave the pack, yeah. And I ain't going back, fuck the trap. Hold me back, soldier rap, these shoulders gats. I roll tracks till I flow max. Grew up so fast, I had to take a roll back. Yeah. Make some motherfucking noise. Poltergeist name in the bucket. I fucking did. <laughs> you, it was actually you? I was gonna try to save you there, but you just fucking hung your own noose, bud. Sometimes you just gotta hang. Yeah, and we're hanging. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I got another secret name for the bucket too, buddy. 
What's the secret name you got for the bucket? Ah, fuck. Let's see. All right. Thuggy, what'd you think about that? I thought there were some serious good bars in there. I like the truth and the genuineness and the catching him bumming smokes, because he would. That was, that was, honestly, that was a pretty wonky beat. He walked up there and he killed it. If I came up to him on the street, I'd probably be like, whoa. Hey, I ain't Capadonna. <laughs> She's like, if I came up to you on the street, this, this lady right here just rapped for Capadonna. I actually booped him, too. I rapped about him, and then I booped him while I was rapping about him. That did not fucking... Do you have video I boop, evidence? I do. I booped the wu -Tang. Jesus Christ. Yeah. The only person in the fucking... In the history of humanity to boop Capadonna. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty good. Are you ready to judge? Yeah, we're not even going to keep digging on that, because I don't know what the fuck you were doing there, both of guys. We're just going to keep moving the fuck on. <laughs> So I'm gonna give my man Nick Dubs the signal. N -n -n Nicky. I'm gonna do a little bit different this time, maybe a little faster. No! <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> I wanna call thug shells up to this stage! <laughs> Let's go, you Who put you my name in the trailer. bucket! This is the Disadapts takeover. This is the panel takeover. Welcome to the Disadapts jerk off where we just pull ourselves out of the bucket and fuck y'all. Uh, okay, alright. Alright, alright. So, they think they sick, but my style is sicker. They be taking photos, and I be posing for the picture. Not a poser, though. Not an opener. I'm a closer. I know that my homies over here, I decompose words. That means I leave them dead. Other rappers, not a threat. They pay attention, so when you look at me, you're in debt. But I be paying back. I know that we get a set. You paying attention, so of course I'm gonna make those sense. Reinvent the words, we keep it fresh. I'm that thug. Giving love to my homies like Nicky Dub. See them at the club, I be saying, what's up? Then we take off, we winging off like those dubs. I know that we rock it here with our friends at the album release party. We got J Reds. Oh, gee, Seven Bob Poltergeist. Oh, D. Oh, D. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Do you OD because I served you up lines? That's dope. Oh, D. On my lines, y'all going overdose. I'm the host, I guess. I got the bars, no fudge. I know that I'm in the corner, but I don't judge. We all dope here. We here for a good time. And Thug Delicious Hell's here to drop the rhyme. Yeah, that's how it's done. I miss the rain and snowing. In case any of you are fucking stupid, the girl was freestyling. It's not written. I don't know where the fuck she came from, but if any of you make her leave, you're kicked out. <laughs> For real. Thug you, what the hell, man? I love you. That was whack. <laughs> I know she was talking about Poltergeist OD. That shit was weird. She said she served me up lines. That ain't true. No, no, no. I know when I've been served lines. I mean, it just probably wasn't from Thuggy, that's all. <laughs> and it's probably right before you got those smokes that you pumped. No comment. All right, before we end up in a fucking hole we can't get ourselves out of here. But no, for real. Thuggy. Make some noise for my girl. Everybody knows that she is incapable of not killing it. I think I've met the only person on the planet who wants to freestyle more than junk. And junk freestyles in five fucking languages if you give him a goddamn beer. And he'll keep going for an hour if you let him. But then this girl just came out of nowhere. I was like, yeah, I'm going to rap for an hour on stage all the time with absolutely no preparation and just be better than most people who have been doing it for their whole life. So make some noise for my girl Thuggy right now. I got to keep practicing, though, because Poltergeist thinks I'm whack. <laughs> well, what, what, you got more to add to that? or is it just? It's okay. I think everybody's whack. <laughs> Takes one to know one or what? <laughs> So very true. So are we going to actually start the show? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I fucking hope so. <laughs> Yo, Dizzard House, make some noise if you're ready! <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it! Okay, e epic hand soloroids. Epic hand soloroids. Epic, epic hand solo records. Epic hand solo records. Yeah, you're about to this day. Holy shit, we got a legend. Epic, of epic, epic, epic. We got a whole record label coming we up on the stage. Ooh, we baby. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Check, check, check. I'm from the brewery district, the Edmonton. I'm gonna do a written. Oh, Hamski, your backhand is sick. Left-handed stick, you used to slash people. Skate on the ice and stick handle. You try to play the puck, but not the man. They try to box you out, so play the man. We always thought that he would be the first to go in the shootout. Aw, oh, Hamski, you have that big George LaRock to protect you. We could have made it to the NHL, but I've had knees. Oh, those fucking knees. Those fucking Leafs. I love the Charlestown Chiefs. Now, I don't know if you're a Russian, Hamski, and I don't know if you're a Czechoslovakian, but it's clear that I seen skate. Last night, I was lying in bed awake, and you got goals like I got star with points, and last night, I seen a jersey with your name on it. When you scored that last second goal, I started to cry. Would you cry if you got traded, Hemsky? Would you look up into the sky, Hemsky? When the spotlight dies, you feel so empty. Now I was famous for a second. Went to Saskatoon with Caden's weapon. And his girlfriend, and DJ Eric, got some curry with turmeric, Hemsky. Stick around, hang on to that mic for a sec, homie. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can keep the mic, you're good, you're good. When I, when I do the song, uh, that was way faster. Yeah, that's your fault. When I do the song, um, that was way faster than, but it's all good. You did really good. Thank you. You, you guys, you guys, we all gotta dial in here for a second. Epic. Yeah. How many years ago did you first rap battle somebody? Uh, 25 years ago, maybe? How many years ago did you start traveling to battle rap people? Uh, I think, I think they bought me a Greyhound bus ticket to Regina in like 1998 to battle Def 3. To battle Def... What? That's my is there? I need to see been that. This battling longer than we've been alive. I need to please see that for science. Anyways, you thanks. guys, th this man, if, if you decide to be a rapper and you go on tour and you meet all of the random rap folk from around the country, I swear to you, this man is their favorite rapper. Epic, come back. We're not done. We need you, brother. We're not done. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Keep you on the mic, keep you on the mic. We're gonna ask you some questions. We're gonna ask you some questions. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've 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 been I've been I've been saying what I got to say. Poltergeist, what do you think of our man Epic here? I'm very surprised. Uh that was probably the most Canadian rap I've ever heard in my entire life. Like down to the accent, that the content. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, I probably couldn't fucking... You could give me a year and I couldn't write a better Canadian rap than that. He definitely yeah, takes yeah you're right. All I was missing was some maple syrup. He definitely takes the world record for the most times Hemsky has been mentioned in a song, for sure. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome, dude. That was fucking fire. Thanks. Uh, do you, are you Appreciate on, like, it. Spotify, YouTube? Uh, yeah. Uh, Epic on Spotify. Look up that song, Aw oh, Hamski. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I will. I will. Yeah, Thank sure. you. That was that was fucking dope. Dope. I, I wanted to say tight and dope at the same time, so I said dow. Yeah. Dow? How do you pronounce that? How do you spell that? Dow. Dow. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 
I thought that was fantastic. The storytelling pulled me in. I really like the segment on knees because it's very important to take care of your knees. So I like the positive message that you brought attention to. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And the way you said it too, it was good. You drew it out, which like brought more attention to it. It was a good, it was a good flow of it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have any more questions? Jake? Nah, man, you just fucking... If Epic comes to your show, it means you threw a good rap show. So make some motherfucking noise for the legend in the building. Thanks, everyone. There are three people in this city that if you get them to come to your show, you knew you threw a good show. It's Epic, Karin Singh, and Manjeet. Four people. Poltergeist OD. <laughs> that guy's dead. He doesn't he count as people. He show up tonight. But we're going to keep this shit moving, so I'm going to give my man Nikki Double Up the signal. Yeah. Oh, why don't we make another live beat? Beat, 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 Something like that. like a 130 beat. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. So I, you started, I was a little worried. <laughs> That'll save you now. Yeah, yeah. He is hot, and I love him too. <laughs> but bro, I like that you were like, yo, fuck this shit. We're going to find the beat that I want. We're going to dial it in a bit. And then I felt you, like, inside of yourself be like, I flow so fast. And you're like, I'm flowing so slow. <laughs> I, I, I knew I could feel it in you. But I felt like 10 seconds later, you forgot that that happened. And then you just started rapping, though. And that shit was really good. I like that part, you know? <laughs> Yeah, exactly like that. Sometimes when you get a beat that you can't quite adjust to, it's hard, right? You gotta go straight for the tunnel vision. I do respect that you got what you wanted, but I, I would have just I would have just married that beat. But that's also good that you didn't. One thing at the very, very end, 
Sometimes when the beat cuts out, you can't cut out. So that was the only thing. You got to finish it because sometimes you're like, oh, shit, there's stuff going wrong. But you got you to gotta come on strong. That being said, you killed the whole bit. I really liked about the driving in the drop top. And I wish that when we're driving in there, I was, I was right there with you. We'd be jamming in the car. Holy fucking cocky over here, eh? <laughs> I would marry that beat. It's... <laughs> I joke, but she fucking would. My favorite line was, uh, was uh, we're in the hot spot, bringing the heat. That's fire. That's fucking dope. And you said, you said fire. something about like shifting tectonic plates. What are you fucking RZA? But, oh, there it is. What? Bars. <laughs> bars. All right, yeah. End of interview. Bars. Bars. There you go. Uh... Thanks, guys. Love y'all. Doug Shells would have married the beat bars. I married beats. Make some noise for Paradox Life. My man Nikki Dub's gonna cook us up another beat. Yo, who wants us to draw from the bucket? I need to hear the bucket chant. Bucket. Bucket, 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 bucket. Ooh, up next we got Alien Bandits. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. Kill it on a constant. I've been on this. I've been smoked like a bong. I got the process. Up with it, I quick these flip digits. I got it so quick, baby. I'ma go kill it like, got it like boom. Cause I'ma go in on a sonic, baby. You are my flip it. That do is tectonic with it, but I'm gyroscopic. Way I spin it, baby. You know that I got simplistic shit, but then I flip it out a little more complex. I've been on it again, I got the concept that I kill it. Up. Baby, do it so hard. I'm fucking burning that shit like a charge shark. I'll be evolving, baby. Off topic, I be so on it, baby. I'm Baby, I go when I kill it, I keep it so complex again, but that's a different. I go mix it up, I got the spoon in it. Baby, you be so hard, it's unusual. With this shit, I've been off and on again. I've been stomping on the shit, I got no pen. Oh, oh. Yo, I, mi I missed that. What? What's, uh, here, come stand over here. I thought we were the ones supposed to be giving yeah, feedback. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I missed that dog. What's your name? Alien Bandits. Alien Bandits? Any, any name that insinuates schizophrenia is dope with me. I'm like, my, my, my homie Alter Ego Collective is just one person, so I'm not kidding. Like, I fucking, I fucks with that. Uh, I don't know, I don't know who you are or where you came from, man, but... That was fucking really dope. And I, I was I was gonna ask you if you were freestyling, but then I'm sure with that tectonic plate gyroscopic <laughs> shit, I'm sure you've just confirmed for us all that you were rapping off of the last shit. Yep. That's that's fucking awesome, man. I you're you rapped good and you're so plain looking, I've got nothing to make fun of you for, man. Like you just, you came in, did well, and didn't look like an idiot. Damn it. <laughs> you didn't give me much to work with. I was, I was really digging everything that happened, especially like their onomatopoeia with like that shotgun. Like clearly you make really good mouth noises. I would love to, I would love to hear more of those, but just that added so much. Just the perfect, like, I, I can't do it. Like, can you do the, the thing that you did? Yeah. Like I need to sample that for like a. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing left to say, dope. Yo, you could have came up here and just did that and still would have won these people over. Wait, can you do the shotgun noise again? Ah, oh, thug, Jesus. Thug shells approves. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Holy shit! 
Yeah. Yo, I've never even heard Nikki say I can't make that noise before. I've never even heard him say that. I didn't even know it was in his fucking vocabulary. That was nuts. So I've been binging X-Files, and I don't know if I, I'm alone here, but this is Byers from the Lone Gunman up here rapping. <laughs> Am I not? I, I gotta be the only one. Somebody online watching has to fucking be as big of a nerd as I am. Man, you are the biggest fucking nerd ever. Nobody is. No competition. King of the hill. Anyway, yo, that was fucking fire, man. Your flow was tight. Uh, obviously, it was a freestyle, so, like, you get props for that alone. Um, I love you in X-Files. Aw, oh, thank you so much. So sad that you died. Uh, I hope that one episode that we can, like, you know, maybe in the future see you as, like, a ghost or something. That would be on brand for you. Oh, this guy's thinking over here. Fuck yeah. That would be incredible for me. Anyway, Vince Gilligan, please, please hit us up. Yo, thank you very much. Fucking tired as hell. Yo, yo, yo. hit. Fuck yeah. Hey, hey. Do you, do, do you like to eat weed? Do you like to eat weed? Yeah. Yeah, eat some weed. Wait, you can only have it if you, you make the, really good. If the shotgun noise one more time. Yeah, when you do really good, I might give you some weed to shotgun eat. Noise shotgun, one noise. More time. shotgun noise, shotgun noise, shotgun, 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 shotgun. 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 So, that's squelchy, I like that. That's fucking sexy. Woo! -hoo. All right, guys, if you want more, you know the bucket chat. You gotta get her going. <laughs> Up next, we got Vamper Lee. Yes. I just want you to know that I am as high as your outfit looks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're always such a sweet peach. So, a couple things. Since your last performance, yes. I see way more confidence. <laughs> uh, I see way more delivery happening. Um, the sound is probably not your fault, so don't worry about that. Uh, we, I'll, I'll use this moment to say that if we stay back here, we're gonna get less feedback, so keep that in mind. The only, the only really constructive thing I wanna give to you, girl, is the, the mic placement matters so much for how much everybody can hear you. And you're a super smart person, and I'm really excited to hear what you're saying, so I just want you to keep that mic nice and close next time so we can really hear what you're saying. Is this close enough? Closer. Now? It, it should be so close that your lip will periodically touch it. Is it now? It. You're getting there. Yeah. She's getting it. Is She's it getting it. Now? Pull up the guys. What do you got, bruh? Oh, oh. Um, my, my little trick for, like, because, like, if you're like me, you probably don't want the mic touching your lips unless it's your own mic, right? So I hold it, I hold it loosely like this so that like you get you get the high end and the low end. Oh, okay, Charlie's Angels. But but I keep my uh, I keep my pointer out so that it touches my face before it'll hit my lips. Okay, how do you right? how are you even I, I don't know, I'm like a fucking ninja Very turtle. Dexterous. I, 
I grip this shit like I have four fingers. I don't know what it is. Double anyway, it it's my little weird trick. I use my pinky to balance it like my phone. You know? Did you? I, <laughs> I feel like we're in a wrestling ring. Fight! <laughs> I'm name, talking name, to you, name. strong <laughs> um, um, Yeah, other than like holding the mic closer, your confidence is better. Your stage presence is better. I see you eye in the crowd. I didn't see you do that last time. So like, you're obviously like, you're getting more comfortable and you're having a little bit more fun. Like you're more familiar with the people who are coming here. So like, obviously the comfortability is a huge, uh, a huge step up. Um, obviously, yeah, keep coming back. Sweet. You're gonna get better and better. There's no downhill. Yeah, that's exactly it. Like when you first start doing shows, you really quickly learn what does and what doesn't work. And it's awesome because you learn amazing mic technique in a place like this, surrounded by friends, surrounded by amazing people who want to give you that criticism constructively so that when you're out there rocking a festival set, it doesn't happen. So yeah, exactly. Keep it, never cup it, keep it close. I bring my own mic and I put this bad boy on here, but you can't get too close. Sometimes you like accidentally punch yourself in the face and when you don't have a cushion on, it hurts your teeth and that's no that's good. I was thinking of, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. any moment, I'm yeah. just going to clink. Yeah, and that's, you know what? It's better to clink once than to have no one hear you the whole time. That's true. Yeah, so clink those glasses. Okay, clink, clink. Yeah, I, 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 you did fantastic. The confidence, the outfit, 12 out of 10. Sweet, thank you. Make some noise. Continue making noise for Beverly. You guys know what to do if you want it. Up next, we got Sarah Bear! Sarah Cocaine And you were wrong, but act right. And I've only been in the game for a minute. Sound kind of different when you know how to spit it. You sound like you want to inhibit my peace of mind. Truth the crown, clown of mine, these rhymes are mine. And if you think they're yours, you can lick the floor after falling off the horse. You came in on like a whore. Whore for sure, whore for sure. So think I give a fuck, fucks I can't even afford? What well, was me and Master C, but quite clean beneath the sheets. Sometimes mean, extra scene, nicotine fiend, glass of queen, friend of Kadeem, that's to me, you get the heat scrape. And I'll get up on the mic next, hit you with the flow, no context. See what you got. If you got a reflex, but you probably got bone, could be S, bitch. Woo! <laughs> I got my fun out of her today. So if you guys want some context, we have a lot of people that have started off their onstage rapping with us. And this show is really supposed to a lot be about making fun of people. But when they're just sweet as fuck, they come better dressed every time and rap twice as good as they did the last time, you fucking just not leaving me with anything to work with! <laughs> thank you so much. You guys are awesome for making this. You're awesome! Yeah. Ah, thank you! <laughs> but, and I'm a big fan of you, too. I'm a big fan of you! <laughs> You didn't marry the beat, you divorced it. You're like, nah. Um, I, I think that was awesome. The confidence up there. It took me so long rapping to finally get a rap voice down. And you sound like honey up there. You killed it. I just quit smoking 16 days ago. I'm proud. So <laughs> but wait, you're still smoking. Yeah, oh, thank you. Hey, ow, ow. <laughs> bores. <laughs> Bed bores. <laughs> But it's, it's taking, like, I'm going to have to rework my voice a little bit. It's all different. Yeah. It changes, but it sounded really good up there. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know how I feel. You're, you're getting better and better every time I see you. And like J-Red said, better dress this time. Last time you looked like shit. 
Yeah, that's most days. I had to say something negative. Like, we haven't made fun of somebody in a while. Last I, time. We're, we're trying, but everybody's just so fucking nice yeah. and sweet. Like, Everybody's coming up Steve like, got nice oh, smiles and bars. Yeah. That's my friend. I'm I can't kidding, shit I'm on her. Don't want or can I? Can't go now. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Boom. I got one more thing for you. Some of those, uh, some of you guys might know, I just did an album with Brother Lynch Hung, Spice One, Scarface, We Got Troubles, We Got C-Dub, and I just wanted, uh, I wanted to give this to somebody who supports me personally, and I know you support me personally. These are super limited run, they're not online to stream. Enjoy. Hey, wait, 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 I got another question for you. Sarah, come back, I got another question. I want to. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know how it feels that you came up here and you killed it, and then Corey used it as a moment to plug his own music. <laughs> Bars. Yeah, well, it's pretty on brand. You're good. All right, make some noise for Sarah Beck. What the fuck is, can you read this? <laughs> what? Uh, Does anybody here speak Chinese? This is like if someone was like, put your name in the bucket, and he's like, yo, yeah, bro, I'm totally gonna put my name in the bucket. I don't know what that. Okay, does anyone uh, know? No, 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 fuck that guy. If that's how he writes, we don't want to hear him rap. <laughs> All right, all right. I call up. Magnus! Big response from the crowd. Crowd's liking it. All right, all right. Does Magnus not exist? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the ne the last name that we pulled from the bucket is I, I just I didn't I couldn't hear you I didn't know what, what was happening but but I can see that the flow structure is solid I can see where your rhythmic accents are it's there you just the same thing we said to the last person the mic's got to be like this mic's got to be like this if you want them to hear you. I'm sorry, you gotta suck the fucking mic dick, and uh, nobody wants to do it, but like, suck, you can it suck good. the mic dick or nobody hears, you know what I mean? But on another note, I'm gonna bet that's your first time rapping on a stage ever. Make some noise for a Cherry Breaker right here! <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Ajax! We're not done with you, Magnus. We're not done. Hey, get the fuck back here! Get back here! You're not done! Hey, you're not done. 
<laughs> so what? The one other microphone technique I'm gonna when it feedback when you hear that ugly noise you want to push it away from you don't put it down you gotta put it straight back to you you point it to a speaker it'll just get louder and scarier you did great I can't wait to hear you but guess what you already got you got a room of fans make some noise for Magnus do you know how many people work so hard to get that many people to love them you are loved just suck that mic dick I love all my friends hey. My favorite part is when you like realized you were slipping, you just went, oh. <laughs> I can go. I honestly, can go go, honestly, right that, point, that is some shit that I would like just jokingly write into my verse. <laughs> it's <laughs> just, true. <sighs> He'd like walk out too and like. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. And you should do that every time. That you, you should start every verse like, <sighs> yeah, you, you got to write the most killer verse ever now. And right before you do it, <sighs> I guess. Dude, this is the least effort ad libs have ever taken. Like, I swear to God, I swear to God. That was awesome, man. Uh, the only thing, yeah, like keep the mic close to your lips. You can do what I do the Ninja Turtle way. I don't know how you do that. I don't fucking know. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. We just got a brand new bucket drop. Yeah, he put hey, it in I'm with gonna, so I'm much confidence. Some weed. It, it, it's, not, it's not like a congratulatory weed, but it's a consolation weed, you know? <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard for me to grasp. Okay. Oh, I get it. Like this. Yeah. I don't know about this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just teaching thug shells how to hold a mic. I feel like I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> 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 Hey, you know what to do. Diss or dubs. We got Baphometric. Baphometric in the house. Oh, look at that. He's ready. Dread the coming week long before it's time for wishing. Overpass the style, single file, precondition. Can you cease to mow when the compass took your shine? Can you eat away your soul as caught within the paradigm? Fall awake on Monday as I slumber through the noise. Empty voices took my class, a caustic compass, to my costly choices. Weapons holster, strap up like a stranger, bolster, resuscitate a me frozen. Either way, I'm lost and broken. Body and consuming men, not my wings of gold. Seven days a week. Yo. Man, that was awesome. Sorta. Of. <laughs> like, okay, so you sent me, you sent me some of those lyrics. I, I've seen some of those lyrics on a page. I'm sure that was it those ones you sent me before. Yeah, a while back. Yeah. Okay, so being able to write cool lyrics is one thing, but understanding how it has to come out in a rhythmic flow in a song or a beat or anything like that. It's a whole other ball game. And most people who write good poetry stumble for like three years trying to find good rhythm with their rap, speaking from experience. Yeah. So like, man, I fucking am so happy. That was so good, man. Fucking yeah, make <laughs> some noise. Like, Jesus Christ, that was sick. That was, th th this man is not like a traditional rapper, but he can clearly fucking rap. That was awesome. What do you guys think? I think that was amazing. Everyone in here was feeling it. I love to, for a second, you slip, but you didn't let that get in your head. You just keep going. And at the end of the day, that is exactly what you have to do. No one, no one cares or remembers when you pause for a half moment that getting back up, it steals the show. Thank you. That started out as the best of the night. That was like the first like 45 seconds was like best rapping of the night by far. 
Not not even fucking sucking your dick right now, bro. Like that was and awesome. He rapped, so he's saying you're better than him. I was gonna say. <laughs> I rapped, and I'm saying that was better. That was the best of the night. And then you slipped right at the end, man. If you can come back and next time not slip, we'll give you your fucking flowers. That'll be fucking dope. Thank for, you. But no yeah. flowers this time. And, and you know, Pol- Poltergeist is right. We do have to address it because we just gave you a bunch of props and. I love you, but you did choke at the end. I love you, but you did choke at the end. <laughs> that was really hard for me to say because I love you, but I'm just not doing my job up here if I don't. No, no, I, 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 I fully admit that. Um, Boo, Jay Red! <laughs> In fact, we're, we're, we're going to get him off the stage because I just don't have the cojones to cut this man deep because I just love him. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think it is sick. What do you guys think? Should we go back to the bucket again? It's the last name, guys. Can I get out? All right, y'all. We got baby blue. Okay. Fuck, I hate it, take a walk, I've been grinding on my block Everybody know that I've been working I can make the money talk, I don't think I'll ever stop Every round that I spit is perfect Heard somebody call the cops, they be swerving up the block Every time I get lit like curses Hell, I catch you like the cops Everybody wanna stop Every time I get right in these verses I've been taking all my time, I guess that you would never find another rapper Put it down, the booty dropping to the floor Bringing all the fire, that money coming on the wire You and everybody saying hell, yeah, we want some more Live like I'm retired, heard your homie got the bar but all I want to do is shot some new intros like it's a chore Reeling like a bard, yeah, I'll suck that on my card Better sit me down, boy, you fuck you like a whore, oh Yeah It's Baby Blue <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, thank you very much I just, my first question is I want to know if the people who made your sweater know that they're a deathcore band. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, uh, I just liked it for the color. It's all about that MC energy, you know? No, I feel you. I feel you. So I'll, I'll go two, two points with this. The first point is that you definitely have been the best rap of the night. There's no question about that. But, 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 but. But. You rap for 36 seconds and it's supposed to be a minute. Oh, oh! Best last oh, words no. of the night. Oh, I was supposed to go longer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I man. know that's usually not the problem is getting rappers to <laughs> shut up, I know, but. Yeah, short and sweet, you know what I mean? Oh, no! Don't even Party this. foul! Shut up, if you're not on this side of the room, you don't even know what happened. You can't see it. <laughs> Fuck you. I can see your secrets. Film. You are my secret. Y'all, y'all honestly, <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest, secret. y'all couldn't handle another minute. Like, let's be real. What do you, what do you guys, what do you guys think of Baby Blue? <laughs> I liked it, man. I like, I like your energy. I like your rap voice. I Thank even, you. I even like the way you just talk into the microphone. You've got, <laughs> a, you've got a solid voice for projection, and I, I really like that. that. I appreciate that. Your flow is tight. Your lyrics are tight. Uh, obviously, I want to see more. What do you have out right now? Um, you can catch me on YouTube, actually. Um, I'm actually working on a five-song EP about addiction and mental health. Um, just basically backpacked across Western Canada where there's very little, Sick. very, very little resources for men, especially with addiction, man. And so I want to try and get that down on pen and paper and show it to you guys. That's dope. We just look up Baby Blue. Baby Blue. Two B-A-E. Words. B-A-E space. B. B-L-U-E. Because Baby Blue. Baby Blue. Ah. Yeah, I agree. Just the like the timbre of your voice, the way you command the mic, I really like it. You came up here and it's you told me outside that you were gonna kill it and you absolutely did. It's like when I say that like 
an obnoxious confidence. I mean that as a compliment because I sometimes <laughs> want to embody that too. But the way that you came out here, but you have it tuned exactly to how you want it. You command the room in that way. Also, when you said lit like curses, I feel like that was like very on brand. And I was like, I don't know. I just, I felt that connection there for that. Nice, Doggy. Yeah, yeah. And it's awesome to hear about your story. I can't wait to hear the music. I can't wait to do more. Yo, you just, uh, you just got here in Edmonton, right? You just moved here? Yeah, I'm uh, a month in, actually. Um, shout out to Rich for uh, telling me about this and apps. This or apps. Yo, and, shout out um, to our boy Rich. I, uh, by the end of the year, I hope to be working with Cryple and Nato Down. So uh, it's uh, big ups. By the end of this year, you're going to be working with me. I'm going to get you on a cypher. Bet. Boom. Wait, hey, why can't I, I, I have an iPad on a baby cypher? Baby blue, baby blue, baby Anthem blue, show. baby blue, oh. baby blue. Baby blue. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Eat some weed, you did real good. Yeah, 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 get it, boy. Eat some weed, eat some weed, eat some weed, eat some weed, now, right now, right <laughs> Open it like a child, open it like a child. If the government of Canada is watching our stream, they're I, just starbers. Feels like Joey Diaz just handed me the stars of death here, let's go. Oh God, that would kill me. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Is this I don't care. Yeah, like we said yeah, before, just yeah. make sure you always put the mic straight up to your dick, 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 dick. Dick, 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 dick. Dick, 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 dick. It's a dick rap. We need jangles in this motherfucker. Can I get jangles? Jangles. We need some jangles, dick bars. Keep that beat going. Oh yeah, look at him so fresh, so clean. Damn boy. No more dick beat. Dick. I'm not talking about the streets. Every skinny boy needs to eat. How do you think I got here? I walk with my feet. And every goddamn night I'm here to compete. That's all I got. Yo, we're going to jump right into this. I want to talk about it. So the best bars of the night. First question is, when is your song with Epic coming out? Soon, soon, soon. Everybody who didn't laugh, fuck you. That was a good joke. I know it's good. Fuck you. That was great. My second. So when you said that you were born in a barn, we believe you. We also believed you when you said you're a honky who all he does is watch hockey. <laughs> but on another note, you're usually so fucking bright and noticeable. This guy comes in wearing like fucking bright red lion shit and he's in camouflage today. I'm not even sure that he's here. I, I just heard his voice so I'm, I'm confident but I don't know for real. I'm trying to hide the fact that I shaved the mane. Dude, until you said it, I didn't know, so you were hiding it. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! I shaved the mane, but the tiger still remains. Yeah. 
Oh man, when you showed up last night, a giraffe night, all fresh and clean. I love it, I love it. It was really cool to hear you on a slightly lower BPM because I've heard you rap a lot on higher ones and this, this beat fit you really, really well. Your punchline delivery was so perfect. Everything about that was great. I enjoyed every moment of that. I agree, I agree with the BPM. That was definitely your BPM, that was your rhythm. Uh, the fucking, um, I ain't talking about the streets, skinny guys gotta eat. Yeah. That line was fucking dope, dude. Yeah, go south. And yet, my name's Randy and I'm just spitting from the gut. <laughs> oh, Randy's gut is full of dirty old cheeseburgers. <laughs> you just got a real burda. We love you, Jangles. We love you so much, Heritis or Daps, man. You're a fucking legend. That was such a legendary moment. I just I want to take a moment right now to say that if you're if you're Randy rapping from the cheeseburger gut, if I ever book Randy to actually come to Dis or Daps, I get to tattoo a cheeseburger on your tummy. I need a commitment. I need consent right Let's now. Let's make a deal. Deal or no deal. I don't have no tattoos, so I don't know about that, dude. Hey, hey, the hey, other hey, option hey. is your ass. It's your choice. There's two answers. It's deal or no deal. That's going to have to be a double guarantee. That was a double guarantee. Make some motherfucking noise. <laughs> You guys, make some fucking noise for my boy Jangles, the oldest Disser Daps contributor. Man's just been in the bucket damn near every time we've done this. That's the motherfucker. I know, that fucking mic stand, right? <laughs> it's tight is what he said. Our man MC it, Ironfoot's going to come over here to say Point. a few things. Um, and also, there was the illegible name, so I don't know if anyone didn't go. Nah, fuck that person. You gotta learn how to write your name. I'm it's sorry. really bad. Yeah, everybody, make some noise for all our performers and our fucking awesome panel of judges. And Nikki Dobbs backing us up with the beats. That was episode three of Disordaps. And man, we had some kick-ass talent here tonight, didn't we? Guys, that's just the motherfucking warm-up. Just warm the warm-up.